real value in fire towers is early detection of fires. So the first 20 minutes when a fire happens, that's when we hit it really fast and hard. And, and our research, and anecdotally, when we do that, that's when we get on top of them. So we put a lot of effort into that. And, and these men and women that do the fire tower um, play a big role. And we work really, really closely with the community. In fact, it's a really strong emphasis that we pride ourselves on um, engaging the community, um, working with um, uh, the local traditional owners, the Zsa, Zsa Run. The state government went into an agreement with the Zsa, Zsa Run Corporation um, and as a flow on from that, we're literally exchanging that traditional knowledge. It's a marriage of science and you know, literally thousands of years of traditional land management, stewardship. Firefighting in Canada and America have been doing this for many, many, many decades and so have we. So it's been, that's why I say it's a bit old school, because you know, there are other technologies possibly that could replace this. But a human being calling stuff in real time, describing what's happening, and I think it reassures the community too, because they know that there's someone looking over the community. Um, and we get that feedback all the time. As you can see, the vantage point here, 360 degree views, people manning the tower can see a long way. So we have about roughly give or take 200 staff working over summer. This up uh, right line allows the tower person to get a bearing on a fire, all those landscapes, and that's how they call it in. They'll say, you know, smoke is rising, um, and that way they can radio it in and call, you know, what sort of resources we might need for that fire. As soon as something happens, uh, the community will find out about it.